go. Now you can cross the street. Walking on some shady side of the street. Oh, you love the shade, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Folks, Jerome Forcewood here. It's 4.29 p.m. on June 15, 2024 in North Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It's 16 degrees outside and a sunny afternoon in the city. In this video, I walked for 1.7 kilometers, starting by Gringo at 100 2nd Street East, then stroll southwest on Lonsdale, meander around the shipyards in Burrard Dry Dock Pier, ending my trek at the Lonsdale Key Sea Bus Terminal. To support the channel, click the heart icon to send me a super thanks. For updates, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at jforestwood. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey folks, uh, Jerome Forestwood here with Asa from Go Go Go. And we're walking down, down Lonsdale Ave here in uh, North Vancouver. And we're approaching second, or this is first now actually, we just passed second. You know, more than anything else, what I appreciate about North Vancouver is the creativity at selecting a name. Oh, it's North of Vancouver, just call it North <laughs> Vancouver. You know how much money, effort and time that saved? I mean, who <laughs> cares about creating a new, unique name? It's all just, about efficiency. It's North of Vancouver. Just call it North Vancouver. <laughs> End of story. And I love it. That shows efficiency. They don't care about fancy, bougie names. <laughs> they took a name, added another word in front of it, and end of story. Done. <laughs> so that's what hardworking people There's our do. local 49th parallel coffee roasters right there. Yeah. Popular little place. There's uh, quite a few people in there. Of course, we came from Gringo. Oh, yeah. The North Shore Gringo, the new Gringo over here. At this point, we have been to every single Gringo in Metro Vancouver, right? Or are there more? I think we've been to every single one. I think there's only three right now. If, it, yeah. if you know that there's another one that we've missed, we've been to Blood Alley, Davy Street, and now uh, the also the North Shore, yeah, over here on Lonsdale Ave. If you know another one, just put it in the chat and let us know. And of we course, love Gringo. We'll be there. Be, yeah, we'll Trust be there eventually. <laughs> Their quality, their service, everything impeccable. Oh yeah, it was the same. It was the same thing. Like the, they're very consistent. I will say that, and delicious. I mean, everybody asks us one of the reasons to yeah. move from uh, Ontario. Mm -hmm. I would mm -hmm. say uh, customer service is in a whole different league over here in Vancouver. Yeah, and now we're crossing, crossing the Esplanade Avenue. Explains because this entire community is built on the backs of tourism the customer service is obviously way better and works in a different oh, especially this section which is the touristy area the yeah. shipyards district people take uh, good care of you every single uh, locals business. come here all the time oh too. yeah like Look at people this. at this gringo for instance they take good care of you and you want that uh, i would say quality customer service on top of good food and drinks uh. that is paramount and You're spending your hard earned money. The... And look, well, what's going on right there? Oh, yeah. that's the tap and barrel or something else? Let's do a quick loop through the shipyards. Alright. Might, it might be busy, might not. Let's do a Seems quick loop. Busy, busy. Lots of, uh, Check it out either way. Yeah. Lots of folks down here. Is that like a kiddie pool or something? Splash pad or something? It's, it's both art and they made it so that the kids could run around in it. Yeah. Sorry. No, no worries. worries. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, that is a tap and barrel. Uh, that's garbage art. Art made from trash. And up here? Yeah. <laughs> right there. That's the art gallery, right? Actually, it looks like paper, yeah. Cool. Yeah, hey, what can you say? Cool. There's Asif. <laughs> yeah. 
This is an awesome spot. If you have one of those, you know, offsprings running around, you bring them out here, get them tired up. Once they're done, you go to a bar and get drunk. So a place the kids play right here. We're, we're not, not going to show you that. We're not going to focus on that. Yeah. Well, you, you can see a little bit of it if you want to roll so it back. So if you're a person Wherever you with an go. offspring, you can bring them here There's too. There's more people that way too. Yeah. Which way do you want to go? Awesome. Look at all the people that are here. Ah. And this is not even a special event today. People are just out here. Oh yeah, people are out with friends, family, some people are walking their pets. The people in Others patios are walking their and life choices and offsprings. <coughs> people walk a lot of different things around here. Mm -hmm. Let's go all the way down to the pier. Oh, you want to go out on the Burrard Pier? That's awesome. Yeah. I love the Burrard Pier. I always feel like I'm in an episode of Fringe when that happens. Oh, wow. Old, old TV show. I just dated myself. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. I love this spot. We, uh, on car-free days, this entire plaza would be lit. Or every Friday night, uh, because they have their night market during the oh, summertime. Oh, wow. Yes. You know what? One of these days yeah, in we the back need to. Catalog, check that I know folks. coming down from UBC might be a bitch, but we need to come down here on a Friday night. I yeah, guess. I recently did a live stream when you were stuck at work. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so I was like, where am I gonna go? Oh, well, I might as well take the 99 over to the two, and then to the ferry, and then There's come on Joey over here. Yards. You've seen Joey Eaton and Joey uh, Barard mm -hmm. and whatnot. This is Joey Shipyards. Yeah, there's That's a Joey's chain only meal restaurant find, down here. Uh, across the uh, country. Across the country from coast to coast to coast. Mm -hmm. nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, last time we were out, they had like a, a Navy ships out that people could take photos with or explore. Oh, yeah. That was on a car free day event. Too. Well, they still have a few. Like, there's one over there, but you can't go on it right now. The Surf yeah. Wilfred Laurier is right there. Works sort of little right there. Mm -hmm. well, of course, this is the Burrard Pier, I believe. Oh, wow. Yeah, Burrard Dry Dock Pier. Standing view of uh, Canada Place, and look at cruise ships in every single direction. Yeah, and the cool nice. part is, is that once we're done walking on this side, when we turn around and walk back, it's just a different view, and it's a view of uh, North Vancouver. Yeah? So it's pretty cool either way. I mean, coming down here is a content creator's heaven. Oh yeah, so Vancouver in general. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Speaking of, speaking of. <laughs> Asa's pulling out his phone. He's gonna do content now too. <laughs> yeah. There's a gas truck or a gas barge right there too. Mm-hmm. So, welcome to the Burrard Dry Dock Pier. And uh, this pier is uh, seen on many a different sci-fi show, including the legendary early 2000s TV show, Fringe. Mm, a few decades old now. Of course, there's a North Shore right there for you. Ours in North Vancouver. I'll keep meandering along the pier here for you. Definitely an experience. So if you are in the area, come on down and check it out. Head on over to the shipyards. If you're here for the night market, that happens from 3 to 10 p.m. Every Friday during the summertime right now. Come on down. Of course, it's a night market, so they got a whole bunch of different vendors. And a whole bunch of different things to shop for. Everything from food items to artisan items. So definitely something to check out. <laughs> This is like an observation podium right here. <laughs> I'm gonna head on down here. 
seeing a lot of different activity out here right now. Right there, you can see. Uh, <laughs> there's a sea bus, uh, a couple tugboats, and it's a pretty blustery day. Here, you can see if you got some really good eyes over there across the way. We got two uh, cruise ships. There's a cruise ship pulling out right now from Canada Place. It's like one of the bigger ones too, so it's probably low tide right now. Uh, it's kind of in between. And there is the sea bus. We'll be riding that back. Oh wow, it's crazy down here. It's yeah, so cool. it's crazy. It's bright and sunny, something you don't uh -huh. actually experience down here. Let's head on back, let's take the other And this yeah. is the awesome part. When Not you walk back, it's not boring. When you walk back, it's yeah. like, whoa, cool. <laughs> Lots of North people Van. decided to show up and enjoy and explore the pier. Yeah. People Let's who decided to park. procreate decided to bring their mistakes and life choices along with them. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's nice. Oh, and there, there it is. There's the Coast Guard the ship right yeah. there. That's the Silver Wilford Lorry. That's the co cruise ship. So it's not a Navy ship, it's Coast Guard ship, but. Yeah. So government. You know what? I'm government. gonna take a nice view of this one. Yeah, it's a great idea. I'm just gonna meander this way. Ah, this is paralleling, but he's taking photos. <laughs> he's taking photos and videos. Or his tickety talk. You can check that out. It's uh, go 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 BC. And yeah, this is over at the shipyards. And see that right on the building there. So if you are in the area, you can head on over to Lonsdale Key from the sea bus terminal, but just a little further walk over here, and you get right on over here into the shipyards district. It's absolutely beautiful. There's a little trail that continues that way, and it'll take you over to the Spirit Trail, and further into North Vancouver. Here comes Asa. <laughs> You see these gas barges over in the Toronto Harbor too every once in a while, so quite used to those. Do you know what? At some point you need to put your phone down and just enjoy this as it is. It's so good. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. I envy anybody who lives in those apartments. It has this stunning view of the pier and the city of Vancouver. Oh, oh yeah. Definitely a fantastic place to uh, live. Close to close to a lot of different transit points. Take you all over for affordable price. Mm -hmm. uh, well, this is the time to be. It's a summer. It's bright <laughs> and sunny. And yeah, like here. what are you gonna do? Stay inside? Why do you want to stay inside? <laughs> well, there are nine months of the year to do so. You enjoy yeah, the trees. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you enjoy it from June to August. And that's what I like about a walk tubing is that you, it forces you to get out during those uh, nine months <laughs> of <a> rain. <laughs> nine months of pain to give birth to an awesome three months of summer. Mm -hmm. Or you, if you're somebody who's trying Joey to Shippers just visit, right just show up in summer. You don't need to experience all of the great gloom. You can just show up in June, all of July, the cold. <laughs> and August and enjoy what Vancouver has to actually offer. Yeah, that's true. Oh, wow. It's bright, though. What can you say? What can you do? <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. And we're further north. It's, uh, very, oh, yeah. it's very much different. It's very different from oh, I Toronto. I take my sunglasses off, it was mm -hmm. significantly cloudier earlier. Oh yeah, well we were on the darker side of the mountain because we were over in Lynn Valley, folks. We were up there in nature, going uphill, downhill and all over the place. Yeah, we left the mall for you folks to uh, go and explore yourselves and uh, went and explored some of the trails over there, including the Baden-Powell Trail and the Suspension Bridge. And uh, 
Yeah. The original tap and barrel. Pipeline bridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's the tap and barrel for you again. It's a uh, yellow umbrellas. Very popular. Yeah. And uh, you can go to other tap and barrels in and around Vancouver, including over on uh, Jackpool Plaza at the uh, uh, Vancouver Convention Center West building. And uh, Granville Island as well. So a few of the places. Next time there's a festival out, we have to come up and do a proper video on this yeah. shipyard. Yeah. Well, every Friday night. Every Friday night. When it's good out, when it's sunny like this on a Friday night during the summertime, this place I, gets bumping. I know bumping. I am guilty of dragging you all bumping. the way to the opposite direction down in Richmond on Fridays just for the food. Well, that's bumping too, let's be honest. You go up to so that Richmond food court and it's insane, buzzing. Yeah, I guess one of these it's Fridays we have to show up here and do a whole stream down here. Mm -hmm. Nice. Florino. Cooking soon. Okay. More businesses going up. That's nice. There's a boat tied up here. Guess we're gonna have to uh, walk up this way. Of course, this is the the gap right here. <laughs> we gotta walk around the gap and over to the market. Because why have a concise, integrated pathway when you can make people go round and round? Feels Almost like the waterfront over at Toronto. Toronto. Yeah. <laughs> Say at the same time. <laughs> It's Almost like it's like the disconnected one, and then you go and come on over to the Vancouver City. Path by the water. Yeah. How dare we? Vancouver City, you get the seawall path, and you're spoiled. Oh yeah, you're so spoiled. Spoiled. Path. That's just. And West Vancouver too, with its seawall water rock. Yeah. There's nothing mm -hmm. stopping your flow. That's for sure. Especially if you're walking or cycling. We're gonna go on. Oh yeah. Headed towards Lonesdale. Mm hmm. Oh, over here at the Lonsdale Market. You can see a bunch of people. Good Not necessarily dog. inside, too. There's good dogs right there. I think they're plant based, yeah. What? They used to have a brick and mortar, but it's closed down now. Looks like they still got their cars. There's Mama's Fish and Chips. These guys are awesome, Work. actually. Come and spend yeah, money on Mama's if you're in the area. Folks. Yeah. So yeah, check out what do you want to do? Me and a few more. We don't have to like go out every single shop. We can just walk through it. Yeah, yeah. And that's cool. We have limited energy and we're making the best of yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> we just we left the, the trail. All around Lynn Valley. Oh, that was, was Lynn insane. Valley Headwaters is beautiful. Beautiful, but yeah. uh, takes takes a punch out of your energy. Yeah. So if you want to see this place in more detail, this. Uh, Lonsdale Key Market. You can go in my back catalog and check that out. If there's anything you, 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 you're gagging after, you can uh, grab some. So much chocolate and candy. Wow. You got wine, gelato. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds very touristy. <laughs> of course, if you want to get another burrito and you're not at Gringo's, you can get a burrito there too. Yeah. Love their food. Love their food. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. another spot across. They have grilled sandos and whatnot. I think they're done for the day. Yeah, sometimes they close down early, especially on the weekends. Yeah. Depends on the crowd, really. Yeah, it really does. It's a cooler day today. It's around uh, 15 degrees outside. Maybe a little warmer now. sandwiches and wraps. So yeah, pretty good. Nice. But it's, it definitely hasn't been 20 degrees out today. That's Not at all. That's a pizza shop right there. Yeah. It actually has some pretty good pizza if you're coming around lunchtime. Nice. That's when it's fresh. <laughs> they continue to make fresh ones, but uh, at the end of the day, if you're coming in now. <laughs> As somebody who's not a big pizza fan, if I have, need to have a slice, I'd rather have a fresh one, to be honest. And that's a Lonsdale Key. Yeah, that's Burrard Otter leaving. That's the yeah, we'll head on over ferry. here. This is the Lonsdale Key Side Plaza. few more good restaurants around. Oh, there's lots of good Very restaurants touristy, right here. But yeah, you, yeah, let's <laughs> not just stop in the middle of the path, randomly. Little Tokyo Sushi, nice. Oh, mango salmon cream cheese roll. Now those are the words exactly in that order you need in your life. Mango salmon 
cream cheese. And if you don't like any of those options, there's a McDonald's there. Homogenous uh, McDonald's hey, right on over there. For anybody who wants them. And now we're entering. I have been known to pop into that McDonald's and pick up a, a strawberry milkshake on a rare occasion. Yeah, I know. I'm really Lanza original. Bird. So original. Oh. So we're when in the, the ferry's coming at We're in the Lonsdale Sea Bus Terminal. 40 seconds, like less than uh, 12 minutes. So yeah. yeah. Work. Arrows pointed towards <laughs> right. So that's where the next ferry is showing up. So yeah, you can tell when the sea bus is going to leave because they got the time posted on there on the door. Awesome. And anyways, folks, we're going to stop right here. And uh, of course, if you want to see what the sea bus is like, you're going to have to come down here and find out yourself. Or go back to the back catalog. There's so many videos with sea bus on it. Yeah, and there's sea bus videos in the back catalog of Jerome Forest. So just check it out. It doesn't hurt. Just, just check it out. <laughs> Anyways, folks, thanks for coming along today. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.